Unless you live under a rock or you play Fortnite or Roblox all day and you don't pay attention at all to the news, you've heard about what's been going on in Israel. Now, maybe you haven't heard about what's been going on in Israel or maybe you've heard a little bit. On this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys everything that's going on in Israel right now. It's really crazy. It's really important that you know because it relates to the rapture. It relates to these end times. What's going on is not an accident. It's not some random thing. It's not some just like two people having an argument. What's going on is directly related to your life. And you may be wondering, Gabe, why is it related to my life? Well, honey, boo boo, that's why this video is being created because we're gonna be talking about what the Bible says concerning all these things, what Jesus said about even what's going on right now. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some confidential, well, not confidential, what's soon to be not confidential information that's going to be released. If you've ever wondered how the world is going to explain the rapture away, because obviously we know the world, they ain't going to know what's going to be going on. When the rapture happens, like they're not just going to be like, oh, Jesus is real. Let's all give our lives to Christ and then we'll all be saved. They're going to come up with excuses. And I think that one of the excuses they're going to come up with is something that I'm going to share with you guys at the end of this video. So, okay, if you want to be lame, you can fast forward and listen to it. Or I encourage you stick around to the end because it is a Bible study. It's Bible study plus news. I don't really have a name for this type of video yet, but it's Jesus related. With all that being said, let's get right into it. Genesis 15, 18. On that day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham saying to your offspring, I give this land from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Euphrates. Last time I checked, uh, Genesis 15, 18 was written before all these things happened. Ezekiel 37, 21. Then say to them, thus says the Lord God, behold, I'll take the people of Israel from the nations among which they have gone, will gather them from all around and bring them to their land. Genesis 12, 3, I will bless those who bless you and him who dishonors you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Psalms 122, verse six, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they be secure who love you. And then this is the news recently that I wanna share with you guys. So there have been a lot of violent clashes happening between Palestine and Israel recently. And basically it's been a, a long-term thing ever since Jewish people took back their land in Israel. But what happened recently was there have been a lot of rock throwing, a lot of rockets um, launched from Gaza. And I'll give you guys just a quick recap. So earlier in the day, on Monday morning, terrorists in Gaza fired three rockets toward Israel, sending off alarms. At least one of the rockets was intercepted. And it basically even more violence ensued after that. But clashes broke out between, and this is according to CBNnews.com, clashes broke out between Palestinian and Israel forces in the eastern Jerusalem uh, neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah. With tensions high, the Israeli Supreme Court postponed a decision on the possible evictions. There was evictions that were going to happen where the Jewish people could take back some of the houses that belonged unto them because there was Palestinians who didn't necessarily um, deserve to be there legally. The court was expected to hand down a decision on Monday, but they pushed it back to 30 days in light of circumstances. So the court, what, the court was deciding what was going to happen. I know that's a bunch of like stuff that maybe like, Gabe, you're talking about like you're an old person now because you're being, being boring. Sorry if that bored you at all. Basically what's been going on is hundreds of people have been getting injured back and forth between Israel and the Palestinians and they've been fighting each other. What are they fighting about? Well, for one, they're fighting about the land. They're fighting about who belongs in certain places, but they're also more importantly fighting about whether they should go to certain religious sites or whether they should go to certain religious things. Here's what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24 and verse seven that I want us all to know. It says, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. A lot of people would say that these things that are going on in Israel right now, oh, game is just another news thing. It's just another people fighting another people. But you must understand the more significant meaning behind all these news events that is going on. It's, it's not um, hard or it's not impossible to see that these forces that are clashing, these people that are clashing, all this violence, this rock throwing, the, the rockets being thrown into Gaza and back and forth, and, and these Palestinians fighting the Israelis and the Israelis fighting the Palestinians, it's a direct fulfillment of what Jesus prophesied. And I know some people are like, well, Gabe, I could have prophesied that. Gabe, I can say violence is going to happen. Gabe, I can say nations are going to rise up against nations. Well, you could, but this is actually what Jesus said 2,000 years ago, and what he says is the truth. So how should Christians react to all these things? Well, the Bible says this in Romans chapter 13, and verse, actually Romans chapter 12 and verse two, it says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good, acceptable and perfect will of God. And I really wanted to share you guys, share with you guys this scripture because honestly, the way this world works nowadays, somebody posts something on Twitter, you hear something from your high school liberal teacher or your middle school teacher that tells you that, that the Palestinians deserve to have the land and everything that Israel does is wrong. Or basically they just throw stuff down your throat and they tell you how you should think. And I'm making this video to tell you, you need to learn to think based on what the Bible says. Some of you are like, Gabe, my parents aren't Christian. Gabe, maybe your parents 
parents are atheist or Muslim, or maybe they just don't really have a good walk with God. Can I tell you something? Love your parents, honor your parents, but you need to think based on what the Bible says. Some people say, you need to think for yourself. You need to have your own opinion. No, honey boo boo, you cannot have your own opinion. Your own opinion is gonna hurt you. But you know what opinion you should have? You should have your opinion based on the word of God. And obviously, when we talk about the news, I'm never gonna get everything perfectly correct. I might say some things that are a little bit incorrect, but I'm gonna try my best to give you guys the news the way God wants it. And most importantly, though, I'm going to give you the scriptures of what God wants you to react to. And the reason why I've told you all these things is to keep you in remembrance, to keep in your mind that Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And don't be afraid. Another scripture that I want to share with you guys is found in 2 Timothy verse 1. If you have your Bible, you can turn there. I'm going to put it up on the screen too. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Let me read that to you one more time. First, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. With all these end times things going on, with all this rapture things going on, and some people say, Wait, Gabe, when do you think the rapture is going to happen? Gabe, is it going to be 5, 10, 15, 20 years? Here's the best thing. Jesus said in Revelations, Behold, I am coming soon. I am coming soon. And the way that we as Christians need to react, we need to live our lives every single day as if he's coming back now. How would you react if there was mass famine across the world, if there was mass wars and, and you couldn't even go to the grocery store for gas or food or anything like that? How would you react? Now, I'm not telling you that so that you like live in a bunker and go up in a hill and don't talk to anybody anymore. No, please don't do that. We need to share the gospel. The way that you should react is not in fear, but in faith. You need to understand the most important thing that you can do in this earth, the most important thing that you can that you can remember on this earth is to love one another. The Bible says to love God and to love one another. That is the greatest commandment because when we love one another, that's when we can share the gospel. And I really am just bringing this video to you to remind you that the end times are near. This isn't time to play around. If you're a young person and you're thinking to yourself, well, I'm gonna just have fun, Cave. I'm gonna just go live it up. I'm gonna go twerk on a chair. I'm going to go party with some girls. I'm going to drink some alcohol. I'm going to smoke some weed. No, that is not the move. I'm going to be honest. That ain't the move. You're going to be smoking weed. You're going to be with some lady. And then the rap the trumpets are going to blow. You're going to look up and you're going to see Jesus. And you're going to be like, mm, 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 and then you're going to say some cuss words because you're going to regret the life that you're living. But I'm not telling you that to put you in shame. I'm telling you that because if you live a life like that, people are watching. And I'm not telling you that saying I'm something better than you or or that if you want to go out and have fun that you're like a bad person that you're automatically going to hell because you just want to have fun. Listen, it's not bad to have fun. But God wants you to have fun his way. And let me tell you, you can have fun in the best way possible. Do you see my face right now? I'm not so serious saying that that everything's going to hell and everything's burning. No, as Christians, we are supposed to be the most joyful people. We're, we're supposed to be, be the people that are most full of light. Okay, now that we're here at the end of the video, I want to tell you guys recently, I want to pull up my phone now, but basically, and this is according to the New York Post, Pentagon UFO report, they acknowledge the reality. Whistleblower says, this came out April 24th, 2021. The US government is actually gearing up to share information about the reality of Uf UFOs with the public and not a moment too soon, says the man who claims to have run the Pentagon's UFO program for nine years. All right, here's the thing. The government has known about UFOs for a long time, ever since what, 1947? And they just now are about to release it. Now they say it's supposed to be coming out in June. So hopefully it comes out soon. But I'm telling you guys this news because the reality is when the rapture does happen, when we all do go up to Jesus and a bunch of people disappear, the government isn't just going to accept that Jesus came back and like, we must all accept that Jesus is Lord. They're always going to make up stuff. They're always going to, they're always going to change the messaging. And now this is just my opinion. I always clarify. I tell you guys when it's the word of God versus my opinion, but this could very possibly be a way that the government um, covers up for the rapture. Because once the rapture happens, the government will literally say UFOs came and took the people. The government is now having to acknowledge that UFOs are a real thing. Now, I know some of you guys are going to be like, Gabe, you've gone crazy. You started doing these controversial uh, out there things. Listen, I just told you, this is just my opinion, but I'm telling you these things not to scare you, not to put fear in you, not to make you put your uh, fingers in your ear and go run to the hills and put it in a little bunker. I'm telling you this because you need to understand it's time for you to walk in love. It's time for you to give everything to Jesus. It's time for you to read your Bible and not make any more excuses and not just play Fortnite all day because there's people around us that are headed to hell and we need to share with them the good news, the good news that God isn't mad at them, that Jesus Christ loves them, that Jesus Christ died on the cross, that he paid the price of their sins and that when they believe on him, they can have life eternal because he's the way, the truth, and life and they can be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you want to learn any of those things, those videos are down in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this video. I want to pray for you real quickly before you leave. Father God, I pray for anybody that's still here. I pray you to reveal your mighty power, reveal the truth that you are coming again soon. Lord, let us live every single day ready for you because Jesus, we love you so much. In your mighty name we pray.
Amen and amen. Woo, amen. Thanks for watching till the end of this video. If you are interested in some really cool merch, we just dropped it. In fact, this YouTube video is gonna be the first place I'm gonna post it. It says, Chow to God, and on the back it says, Sheesh. So it's really cool. So you should go check it out. And it looks a little bit like this. A cool sweatshirt, shirt. So get, go get you some. Go get you some money, boo-boo. I'll put a promo code down there. I don't know, maybe I'll do 10% off. I'll put a promo code down in the description below. So go check that out. Proceeds help this channel, and those resources help support me and our channel and the ministry. We're going on tour this summer as well. So if you're interested in that, I'll put that down in the description. If you live in Texas, Virginia, or California, you should come check it out because we're gonna have some cool Bible studies and some in-person Bible studies and proceeds from the merch will help fund the tour and the channel and just a whole bunch of cool things that we do for God. So again, thanks for watching. If this is your first time, you better subscribe and leave your notifications on. I'll see you guys. I'm going to start uploading almost every single day, live Friday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. See you then. Bye, Felicia. If you didn't subscribe, you better subscribe. Okay. I know you, you already subscribed. You did. Okay. All right. Bye. <laughs>